the screen is to help you with Module 2, Lesson 17, Homework, where we round, our, uh, to, fi we round to find estimated quotients. Uh, this is based upon the problem set, and we have some fairly straightforward problems, and we explore a few problems where there might be some alternative strategies. Okay, let's start with our first problem. It's a pretty straightforward problem. We have 241 divided by 58. We want an approximate answer to that, so I'm going to put a little sign over here that kind of looks like an equal sign with a squiggle, and that means it's about equal to. We're going to start with our divisor. We want to round our divisor to its greatest place. In this case, it's 5 in the tens place. Let's review the rounding using a vertical number line. We know that 58 is between 50 and 60. The midpoint is 55. We're going to plot our 58 above the midpoint, which means we round up to 60. So I'm going to rewrite this now, and we're going to put in our 60. We want to look for an easy number to work with that 60, because when we do estimates, we want to keep things simple. So we want something that's close to... 241, that's easily divisible by 60. We could also think in terms of 6 and 24. I'm going to stick with 60, and I'm going to think of my multiples of 60, so I'm looking for a multiple of 60 that's close to 241. I can stop right here, because 240 is very close to 241. So what are we going to do? We're going to place that number, uh, 240, in our dividend. And we're going to kind of uh, work it like this. We're going to 240. And I'm going to show you steps that you don't have to show. Divided by 60 is the same as 240 divided by 10 divided by 6 equals 24 divided by 6. And our approximate quotient is 4. Let's do another example. I'm not going to uh, go into using vertical number lines and all that. I just wanted to hit that again in case anybody wanted to review or needed a refresher. So in this case, I have 648 divided by 83. Okay, we're going to say that's approximately equal to. And we'll put in our blank here, and we're going to round 83 to the nearest 10, because 10 is the greatest place. 83 divided by 10 is 80. Alright, so now I need to think of my multiples of 80, and which one might be close to 648. I can go 80, 160, 240, 320, and we have 400, 480, 560, and 640. And we see that we'll go one more. We'll go 640, and we'll go to 600, or 720. What's closest? It's the 640. So we'll insert 640 as our dividend. We will take this 640, I'm going to erase that, 640 divided by 10 divided by 8 equals 64 divided by 8 equals 8, so our approximate quotient is 8. Alright, continue. This one's a little more interesting. Uh, let, let's see what we got here. So we look at our divisor once again, and we see that that whoop, wrong tool. We see that that's 29, and we know that 29 rounds to 30. All right. Well, we got to look at our multiples of 30 here, and see what's close to 913. So we'll get that red out again. 30, 60, 90, 
120, we're going to have to go a long way before we get to uh, something close to 913. So I'm going to stop for a second here. And I'm going to look at the number 90. And if I multiply that by 10, I get 900. So let's see what happens here. We have 900 divided by 30. That's the same as 90, or 900 rather, uh, multiplying. Well, let's start over. Okay, let's look at this problem. Uh, this one we're going to do in a straightforward way, then we're going to come back and look at some alternative approaches. So once again, we're going to estimate. We're going to first round our divisor, and 25 rounds to 30. Hey, 25 is right in the middle, so it rounds to 30, but that's, that's a, a fairly large round compared to some of the other problems we've done. All right, so we're like the previous problem, we're going to have to do a little thinking. So I have the multiples of 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. I'm going to have to go a long time before I get to anything close to 525. So I'm going to think about multiplying these multiples by 10 and see if I can find something close. So we have 10 times 30 is 300. 10 times 60 is 600. Well, the closest of those two would be 600. So I'm going to use 600 as my divisor, or dividend rather. I'll do it in red this time. So we'll go through our steps. I'll have 600 divided by 10 divided by 3 equals 60 divided by 3, and that equals 20. I want to talk about another alternative here, though, because many of us know that 25 is really easy to work with. Now, if you don't want to use alternative strategies, what I outlined here is just fine. But I can think of 25, and I have 525. 25s are really easy to work with because every four 25s is 100. So I have five hundreds. So five hundreds would be five times four. Twenty uh, 25s. And there's one more. Uh, 21 25s. So I could just, you know, since I can do that in mental math, I, I could just call it 21 by looking at it leaving my divisor at 25. Either approach is uh, acceptable. We're going to show you one more. Uh, we'll do it the standard strategy and then we'll show an alternative. Okay, here's another one where we're going to explore some alternative strategies. I'm going to round my divisor 11 to 10. I have to find a dividend that works well with it. Now, one of the easiest things I could do is um, list those multiples, and I'm going to show a few different things that we can do here. I can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, uh, we have a long way to go to 667 or anything near it. So I'm going to look at my uh, multiples, and I'm going to multiply them by 10. And I'm going to multiply this times 10, 6, and that would be 600. And this times 10, that would be 700. And 667 is closest to the 700. So I can do that. 700 divided by 10 equals 70. Another thing I could do is I could round this to the nearest tens place. And I would get a zero in the ones place. So I could think of it this way. I could say that is 670 divided by 10. And we get 67. Okay, we could do that mentally. And anything we can do mentally is uh, an acceptable approach. I could also leave my divisor as 11. So let's take a look. We have... Wow, okay, I noticed that if I multiplied 11 times 6, I get 66. So, what if I round this to 660 divided by 11? Then I can 
very easily divide. Okay, so 66 divided by 11 is 6, but that's 66 tens, so the uh, estimate here is 60. As long as you show your work, okay, I could accept 70, 67, or 60 as an uh, estimate. Again, it's really critical. I know a lot of these you can do in your head, but I need to sh see your steps so that I know you're thinking. Otherwise, I can't give you full credit. I don't know what your teacher's approaches are, but that's my approach. Pretty simple procedure. Uh, homework is uh, very straightforward. There's a couple word problems, and they basically apply these same strategies. Uh, they're sim single steps, so I think that you can handle these on your own.